Importance of Spiritual Warfare Christians, the Lord has revealed to us the secret of victory, to be victorious against all these projects and other satanic attacks, we must live a life of sanctification, and lead a true life of prayer, it's time for you to wake up and take the fight seriously, if all Christians wake up, choose to become serious with God, and form prayer chains wherever they are, the whole church will be victorious. The call is launched, we must all wake up while there is still time. Make the effort to organize chains of fasting and prayers during the whole period from 24 to 31 December, to disperse this great satanic gathering that takes place each end of year, and during which all the decisions that we are subjected to are taken rather than falling into the trap of the world and feasting by shouting Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, fast and fight to strike and destroy those agents of the world of darkness who come together to decide our fate, products manufactured in the submarine world, now that you know where most of the products you find in markets and supermarkets come from, be very careful about what you buy and what you eat, and for those of you who still eat meat, if you do not want to eat human flesh, only eat the meat of the animals you reared yourself, do not send people whose spiritual nature you do not know, go shopping for you, when satanists do our shopping. The products they bring to us often do not come from the market, with all the revelations that God gives us, we must be more vigilant, football and other worldly sports, for all of you who are still attached to football or other sports, and who are supporters of such or such other team, know that it is a worship that you offer to Satan by supporting teams composed of sorcerers, and by rejoicing over victories planned and decided in the world of darkness, what you have just read in this testimony will help you understand what I was trying to tell you about this famous Nigerian Satanist, mistakenly called a prophet, who accurately predicted the outcome of the 2012 African Cup of Nations competition between Zambia and Ivory Coast, the so-called prophet who is a Satanist, had predicted that Ivory Coast would miss a penalty during the match and that Zambia would eventually win the game, naive people had found in this a proof that this son of the devil would really be a prophet. He is nothing of that sort, it was not a prophecy at all, this Satanist is one of those participating in this worldwide meeting of Satanists in India so he can freely give you information like this one precisely because all these results are decided during this meeting, this Satanist is not the only one to know the results before the matches, do not be fooled, for those of you, who continue to believe that this Satanist is a prophet of God, knows that a true prophet of God has much work to do than to occupy himself with trivialities like football, and God himself has enough to say to his people rather than launching into barren prophecies concerning satanic competitions, which will bring nothing to his disciples, and of which his disciples are even invited to flee from, beware of hitchhiking, with all these multiple traps that Satan's world set for God's children, you must be very careful, do no longer fall into the trap of picking up on the road people you do not know, this Namibian pastor lost his ministry, his life, and that of his family because of this act of imprudence and lack of discernment, such cases should serve us as lessons, the danger of living with an agent of Satan, beloved, no matter how cautious you may be, no matter how much you live a life of sanctification, no matter how much you lead a life of spiritual warfare in accordance with norms and following the teachings we have received, if you live with an agent of Satan, you will be a victim of attacks of the world of darkness, the agent of Satan with whom you live, will have time to exchange all your belongings with counterfeits made especially for you in the submarine world, he will have time to exchange all your food products with products from the underwater world, he will have time to exchange all your drinks with poisons made in the submarine world to destroy you and totally ruin your health, and even your life, as we've just read, foods and other food products that come from the underwater world cause all kinds of health problems, and even diseases that become incurable, you must, therefore, take appropriate measures, while there's still time, although it is recommended that we live together as brothers and sisters in faith, do not take the risk of living with someone whose spiritual life does not reassure you, you must, therefore, be extra vigilant and prudent, the infiltration of the churches by agents of Satan, as you have just read in this testimony, 
Among the people of Evangelist Bonk's protocol, there was an agent of Satan, a woman who belonged to the world of darkness, this is how Satan always succeeds in infiltrating into the environment of children of God, through his agents, we must, therefore, be more vigilant and the more prudent, and exercise all the discernment that the Lord has given us, pastors and servants of God, pay attention to all those people who always like to be at the forefront, who always like to be involved in everything you do and be aware of all the decisions you make, and who want every time to be the only ones to do everything for you, these people are usually for the most part women, may the Lord grant us his revelations. Grace be with you all who have Jesus Christ as Master.